Hey, Jeff Kelderman here, Kelderman Air Suspensions. Today we've got ourselves a Canadian. I call him a hoser, but he <laughs> may beat me up on, on camera here. But uh, Mr. Uge has come down here. Is that right? That's right. All right, he's coming down small. here from just north of Toronto. And uh, he's got himself one badass 450. And you'll see when we get around him, we've got a hauler body on this thing. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. I uh, own a farm, raise beef, uh, haul hay. We'll use, uh, we'll use this for some display events as well. We've got a business that um, we do custom trailers for awesome. uh, some different different accounts. So this will be a beautiful piece to help you know display those brands. Absolutely. So uh, he sent his truck down here about a month ago, and what we ended up doing, we, uh, we sent the we basically did kind of what we call our chrome fleet package, where we go everything goes uh, it goes to black. So we took the headlights out, sent them off the eco tent, got rid of all the chrome, blacked them out, hooked them up with the front bumper here. That's our Alpha series. We've got our Midnight Series of uh, ridges in there, black monster hooks. We've got a 16.5 winch in here. It's going to keep you out of trouble, hopefully. Hopefully. And uh, you know, got the license plate on there because we don't want the what, the Mounties. The old PP. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to get pulled over for not running a license plate, so we got that on there. Come around to the side, you can see we put some 37-inch Toyo MTs on there because I've been Canada bear hunting. I know what your roads get up there when you get farther north. So uh, did our five to six package, did the Kellerman Raptor shocks, which are going over really well. The, the ride on these Raptor shocks with the, the tuning that we've come up with is, is really awesome. Then we did a set of matte black American Force wheels too to, to really make this thing pop. Took this badges apart, got rid of the chrome on the door handles and the mirrors, blacked out all the lights on this thing. What's really cool about this truck, come back here, we have ourselves a functional Heron uh, hauler body that's made down in Texas. So uh, not only do we do the suspension on the front and rear of this thing, and, our, and our, obviously our bumpers and, our, our, and painting the grill, we also installed this box for them. So uh, we made the mounts for it so that it's real heavy duty. So when he hooks onto these big fifth wheel trailers, gooseneck trailers, everything's gonna stay in place. That thing's cool on here. Put some rigid midnights up here on the back to uh, make life easier when he's hooking onto the trailer and working in the dark. And of course, with all our trucks, you always got to have that Kelderman, um, you know, fitting that's plugged into the air tank so we can put an air hose if he's got a little tire, you know, ATV tires, whatever. Big kids in the beach, you know, it's up there and do about the toys. But, uh, super cool truck, ended up in Ontario. Had put the backup sensors right here in the back of the truck, uh, the bed. So, uh, looking forward to seeing some pictures thing all covered in mud up there. Couldn't be out here, it's awesome. It's really bigger and bolder than I thought. So. Absolutely. So Super yeah, happy. watch it on Instagram. You're going to see some pictures of this truck with a giant goose neck on it. Full of hay out in the field getting work because, you know, this Kelderman stuff. You can actually go out and get in the mud and you can actually haul a big ass trailer with this stuff. So uh, it separates us apart. So if you're up there north of Toronto, keep an eye out. You're not going to miss this truck.